And, uh, oh, wow, there's actually a lot of them coming in here. Okay, I'm going to have to try and be a little bit sharper on the ball. Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days. Here we are with our elf once again and we're going to go and talk to King Brand because we have just achieved rank 10 and oh yes, the Bow of Bard is right here as well as the Dale Nobleman Male which I'm probably going to take as well and we're going to see what kind of stats they have. Now bear in mind that I did actually get some pretty awesome armor in the form of Mirkwood Leaf Scale, which unfortunately is not as good as what I was currently wearing. As you can see right there, I'm wearing Masterwork Lorian Royal Armor. Very nice stuff indeed. But unfortunately, due to the insane strength requirement of the Mirkwood Leaf Scale, it seems like I'm going to be unable to give this to Luvana, which is exactly who I wanted to give it to. Unfortunately, she does not have the strength requirement. So I'm actually thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear the worst armor and I'm going to give her the 15 strength requirement stuff because I think she can actually wear this. Yes, she can, as you can see right there. She doesn't even have a helm. She really does need to get a helm, doesn't she? Anyway, I did also give her the Noldorin bow because she was using an absolutely awful bow in the form of this. It's just a regular bow with 26 cutting, I think. And, oh wow. Okay, so this is the new bow that I'm probably going... Yes, I am definitely going to be using this. I am so surprised that the best bow, or at the very least, subjectively, I suppose, the best bow is from Dale. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, I, I would say that's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm going to use that, like, straight away. Thank you very much. 99 accuracy, 28 piercing. That's 5 extra damage, 3 extra accuracy. We lose a bit of speed, but that's really nothing to worry about. And uh, I guess I'll give my old bow to... Uh, to Luvana here, so she's going to be even better than she was before. And we have some masterwork Dale Nobleman male here, which has arguably better stats than what I was using before. I don't really want to wear this because there's actually someone else in our little little army here that could definitely use an upgrade. And you can see that right here. Faniel is literally using a civilian outfit still, and she is technically from Dale, so it makes sense for us to give her something like this. Now, I'm actually wondering, she doesn't have five and power draw or anything like that, unfortunately, but she is using a bent bow, so I suppose I can just exchange the regular bow with this. I can also give her this sword, which I was using previously if I want to, but she's currently using a Masterwork Dale Royal Sword. We are going to need to get a shield for her pretty quickly, and she needs some new arrows as well. Now that she has all new armor, I think she's going to be doing much, much better as we go forward here. And I'm actually wondering, she's using a knife. Okay, let's give her that new sword as well. I also did give her this banner just in case she wants to use it. I don't know whether it's really, you know what, I'm actually just going to take it off her because I think she's probably going to use it badly and uh, I don't really want her to waste time flailing around with a banner when she could be murdering people with that awesome sword. So let's see what else we want to get here. Well, obviously I'm going to go for intelligence, I suppose, as we do need those extra skill points and we need to build towards getting additional trainer. So otherwise, what else do we want to get? Well, I've, uh, I've said this time and time again, I suppose I should probably go for some additional riding skill because I think... Isn't there actually something... There's a really good horse from Rohan, as far as I'm aware. So we're probably going to go and just get maybe like five in that eventually. I don't really mind at the moment so much. And we're going to go for an additional point in... Uh, I'm so tempted by Iron Flesh, so I'm just going to do that. I really am tempted by that, just because it makes us so much tankier than we would usually be. I know a lot of people don't really like Iron Flesh and everything, but eventually, if you have enough points in it and a huge amount of strength, which is what we have, then it's insane the benefit that you can get from it. All right, so as stated in the previous episode, I decided, hey, okay, it's time that we go down to Rohan and Gondor, respectively, and try and help them out. Now, the one problem that I'm foreseeing here is the fact that I don't know whether I can help both of them in time. 
to prevent them from being eliminated because uh, at the moment Hornburg is actually under siege by the forces of Isengard and you can see here that I'm actually embroiled in a battle against Gronk the Man-Eater and uh, thankfully we are elves so I suppose he doesn't eat us which is okay because if he was the elf eater then I think we'd have problems but thankfully he just wants the Boromirs and the Faramirs of this land and uh, he does not want the the Legolases, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe, yes. He, he, I, I don't think he discriminates, does he? I don't think so. I think he's just like, yes, I'd like, I'd like flesh of some kind. I think that would be nice. Otherwise, yes. Unfortunately, we do have uh, a couple of problems right here. Uh, did I just charge our guys in? I think I, I think I might have done that. That was a, a bit of an error on my part, but it's okay because. Well, we outnumber them so significantly, there really isn't anything to worry about. And we did lose one person so far, but that's not too bad. Bear in mind that to resupply our forces, we're going to have to head all the way back to Lothlorien territory, which is going to be extremely difficult for us from this distance. But I think that's okay. Being able to rescue... Do I want to... Yes, I have to, don't I? I really do have to rescue these guys, even though it's not necessarily something I'd like to do at the moment. But I am going to rescue them just solely so I can put them into the garrison somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. And uh, am I going to take a couple of these? I guess I will because you never know, maybe one of these Rohan vassals is going to have a quest of some kind. Oh, look at this! A Ah, Gundabad Mirkwood outpost has been besieged by King Brand, no less. Very nice indeed. Good work. Good work, King Brand. Okay, so let's have a look at Hornburg here. It is still under siege, but as far as I'm aware, most of the vassals from Isengard are kind of a bit battered, a little bit, a little bit battle-worn, and so we are maybe not going to have too many difficulties dealing with them. Anyway, let's go and sell our old gear here. I'll sell the bent bow and the knife, and I think I'm just going to sell the banner. There's not really any necessity in keeping it, and we're just going to buy all of the stuff that they have here. Pay whatever you can, I really don't mind about the small amount of cash difference here. And I guess we'll just sell this. Uh, yeah, I mean I don't have enough space really anyway, so I guess we'll just do that. There we go. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk to King Theoden here. He only has 55 out of his 118, so he's really been taking a pretty severe battering here. Do you have any tasks? Are you sure you don't have any tasks? Because I'm pretty sure you need some help. I do not need your help at this time. Is he being arrogant? I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he would not accept elvish help, would he? I don't know, but yes. Ah, we have another vassal here. Very nice. Let's head in and uh, destroy them. <laughs> There's only six of them. Ah, uh, yes. They really, they, uh, yeah, they don't know what they're up against, really, do they? And uh, obviously, I, I, can I command these guys? Mm, no, it seems like they are completely ignoring me. Well, that is to be expected. Uh, I did see in the comments that someone mentioned it's pretty difficult playing as Rohan because they literally just charge in. They just charge in every single time, no matter what, you know, no matter what enemy they're up against. They're just going to charge in and get themselves killed. But thankfully, obviously, we're outnumbering the enemy so significantly here that there's no problem whatsoever. Well, it took a while, but Hushnak Longshanks has been knocked unconscious. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get a little bit of rank points here. Obviously, I'm going to try to get... I think it is... Uh, I think someone mentioned that it's rank 4? Do I need rank 4 or rank 5? Or maybe I need much more than that. I'm actually unsure about that. Probably going to have to check that. But otherwise, I'll take this Elite Lancer. So thank you very much. And I guess I will do that as well. I think I might have actually completed the quest now that King Brand gave me, actually, because that requires me to rescue... Ah, oh, I've rescued 11 so far. I suppose that's okay. But anyway, let's go and speak to King Theoden right here. And I'm actually going to say, do you need reinforcements? I'm pretty sure you do, so I'm going to give you a whole bunch of these, and hopefully you're going to give me some nice, very well-deserved rank points. Ah, uh, yes. Are they, are they well-deserved? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, there we go. How much are you going to give me? 500? That's it? Alright, well, I, I guess I don't really mind too much about that, considering uh, his faction is really having a hard time of things. Anyway, let's level up a whole bunch of these guys, and then we will head on to Hornburg. I don't think they have entered the siege itself yet, so I don't think we have to really rush there. 
But uh, yeah, do bear in mind that I... Oh, they have actually entered the siege. Oh, okay. So I, I am going to need to rush there now. And there doesn't seem to be that many there, actually. Yeah, look at that. They are going to suffer a pretty humiliating defeat here. The Eisen Guardians. I, I, don't, I don't know whether you can call them that. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether you noticed, but Glorfindel is no longer with us. Because, of course, I... Had to give him over to, uh, uh, who was it now? Uh, King Thranduil, I believe, asked for him. And uh, I thought to myself, okay, well, why not? Because at the time, I actually did not have the amazing sword that we have now. And I wanted to try and earn it as quickly as possible. And I thought, oh, yeah, okay, you know, let's just give him whatever he asks for and everything. But uh, yeah, that didn't really work out too well, did it? Okay, well, anyway, I think we will be pretty good here, actually. Let's kill the banner carriers, because that's going to give them a whole bunch of morale. No, it's not, but, you know. They actually, wow, they actually have a lot of armor, as you can see right there. Well, not from headshots, thanks. So that's that's uh, pretty easy to take out, but, yeah. Uh, 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 actually, pretty good damage. Pretty good damage from them as well. So, that is kind of impressive. But I think we're pretty good here. I think we really don't have to worry about anything. I, now that I have this sword, it's going to be very easy. Or is it? Oh, maybe maybe not. Maybe not. I'm taking a little bit of extra damage here. Bear in mind, I am using that, uh, that Mirkwood armor, which is, well, I wouldn't say the greatest thing ever. But, well, there's not much, much I can do about that. I'd rather have my companions being a little bit better geared than me having, what, 10 extra armor. I don't think that's really going to save me from dying in many places. Oh, hello there. You're going to die. Thank you very much. You're not going to shoot us without any reprisal. And, uh, oh, wow. There's actually a lot of them coming in here. Okay, I'm going to have to try and be a little bit sharper on the ball. And there we go. Take them out. Take that out. How are our elves doing? Oh, actually, not even that bad. Yeah, there we go. Okay, where, where are they all going over there? Oh, they're all going over there. Oh, okay, well, this is interesting. I have obviously never defended Hornburg. I've only attacked it before. And so, uh, this is very, very new to me, and I'm not entirely sure how we're doing. How are we doing so far? We've killed 100. Exactly 100. And I'm going to need to get out my two-handed sword here. What is that guy doing? He's moving in slow motion. Look at that. I don't know what's going on with him, but I do know that he is now dead. He has been slain, vanquished, and there is a weird... What is What is that? It seems to be some kind of weird graphic bug in the distance over there, but it seems like I'm actually going to die here. Am I? Or not, as the case may be. Let us do it. Yes, there we go. All right, we actually survived. Can you believe it? I'm literally at, what, 10 HP? Maybe not even that? Well, I'm very surprised. Okay, so I guess uh, the best thing... Oh, I, ha I don't have a shield. I do not have a shield. Hey, uh, can you maybe give me one of those shields? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to run and make use of my elven agility. Yes. That, uh, that seems to be working out quite nicely and let me just shoot these guys as best I can these guys are obviously going to be pretty difficult for anyone to take out on our side because they are well the Uruks Uruk trackers are very hardy and uh, pretty good at what they do oh hello oh wow okay so those despoilers they're actually pretty menacing because obviously they're running around with blunt weapons and uh, wow I actually got killed by a pikeman can you believe that Wow. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we have eliminated 142. I was actually thinking that we'd survive a lot longer, but obviously, you know what I should have done? I probably should have come all the way up here onto these stairs and just shot at people coming up the stairs. I obviously was a bit unaware as to where the enemies would actually come from here and uh, which main route they would use, because I actually used the route on the side when I was playing my Uruk, and uh, getting in from here, so yeah, that's kind of a little bit different for me, of course. But otherwise, uh, I think we're I think we're pretty good actually, because if we go inside here for a real quick second, you can see that our elves are in really fantastic positions. And uh, if we go through the tunnels here, I think we're also going to see a pretty nice little 
shooting gallery over here as well. Look at that. They're, they're all waiting up there, and there's there should be a couple up here. I'm not entirely sure why there aren't that many this way. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple, but I don't think they actually even have... Do they have arrows still? Yeah, it seems like they have arrows still, so I, I suppose that's okay. But for the most part, I think we're going to win this. I think we are going to win this. I mean, I'm... I don't know. I mean, they had, what, 250 plus 70, so they had about 320, roughly. And we're doing pretty well in terms of our last last defense here. Our last stand is actually going very nicely indeed, because obviously the enemy has to get all the way in here to, uh, you know, fully secure everything and make sure that everyone is dead. And so I think it's going to be pretty difficult for them to do that. 22 of us on the battlefield as well. 22 elves, that is. And most of those are, of course, archers. Actually wondering where the main force are. Well, we do have a, a an elf here who's going to go up against a whole bunch of them. He's a master archer, so... Okay, I actually thought to myself, yes, he's going to do a fantastic job because he's a master archer. And then he ran in there with his sword and died instantly. That was appreciated, but maybe a little bit foolish. Who knows? But uh, yes, I suppose he was doing his best. I mean, I'm dead. I, you know, I, I can't really speak. You know, I'm dead. So, you know, I died way, way earlier than that fellow. So, yeah, doesn't really say anything, really, if I'm if I'm dead and saying, oh, he was a bit foolish. Hmm, yes, he was a bit foolish because, well, yeah, don't look at me. I'm, I'm on the ground here, you know, so, yes, anyway. I think we're actually good. Yeah, there's only 30 remaining. I don't think they're going to send in any more reinforcements from this. I think they're probably going to try and retreat. And if they do try to retreat, then we're going to chase them down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to chase them down. And we're going to make sure that they, uh, they well, uh, yeah, I guess they really don't have any choice in the matter, to be honest. I mean, they are being commanded to do so by their liege, you know, to attack here. So they don't really... Uh, they, they can't really be taught any lessons because, you know, they they just wanting to murder everything, obviously. So, yeah, that seems to be it, actually. Well, the gate was finally breached, but, uh, yeah, the uh, Rohan... Oh, wow. The Rohan youths that are currently trying to defend here, well, they were overrun very, very fast. But now they're having to run into my archers, and they're very much going to have a difficult time. Aren't they? Come on now. Don't get ki... Okay, never mind. Apparently he decided, hey, you know what, let me just get out my melee weapon and hopefully some of these guys are actually going to have arrows left. Yeah, they, see they seem to have arrows left, so they should be fine. I very much hope I'm not going to lose any of these royal archers, or any should I say any more of these royal archers, because they are fantastic and they take quite a while to level up, so it would be kind of nice for them to try to preserve themselves as much as possible. And there we go. That is a victory for us. Pretty nice defensive measure. And uh, I don't exactly know whether there are going to be any stragglers outside, but if there are, we're going to try and do our best to eliminate them as quickly as we can. So we did lose two Royal Wardens, three Master Archers, and that's pretty much it. We don't have to really worry about too much else, which I suppose is okay. And our allies lost a little bit, not too much, and the enemies obviously lost a huge amount. Okay, so there's... 36? Is that it? Really? Wow, okay, I was actually hoping for a little bit more than that, but uh, oh well, never mind. And uh, these fellows are obviously going to escape. Oh, they're all escaping. Oh, okay, well, that's absolutely fine with me. All right, so I guess I'm going to just try and capture all of these guys, and we will then give them to the Hornburg garrison, because it only makes sense considering they lost a whole bunch. And we have now completed the quest for King Brand, which is pretty good because that means that when I get to see him next, I'll be able to get a little bit of extra rank points. And bear in mind that we are rank 9 with Dale. I actually previously said that we were rank 10, because I thought that was the bow, you know, the bow rank that you need. But, yeah, we're rank 9, so hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, maybe get rank 10 soon. Upon exiting Hornburg, though, it appears that no one is here. No, it seems like uh, no one is here, but Rohan is now average and has rallied. Unfortunately, Gondor is not doing that well, so I'm probably going to be heading down there relatively soon. But bear in mind, it has now 
just been about a week since I've given Glorfindel to uh, King Thranduil. So hopefully I will be able to head up there and retrieve him, but it's going to take a long time to get back down here. So I don't know. I have to kind of weigh it up. Ugh, I don't exactly know what to do, but I suppose we'll see the faction strength of Gondor in a little bit. And I'm going to just give all of these guys to Hornburg. As it does not give us rank points, it's kind of not great, but it's all right. You know, a little bit of resource points here and there is always going to be kind of useful for us, I suppose. And otherwise, we can just level up a whole bunch of units. I mean, they gained so much experience from this. And we're going to get a Royal Swordsman. I think a Royal Swordsman's probably going to be pretty good for us. And we'll go for a Royal Archer. Wow, a couple of Royal Archers. That's nice. And there we go. Very nice indeed. Okay, so with the defense of Hornburg done, we are probably... and. Uh, I'm a bit dubious about this, but we're going to head down to Gondor and see what's happening there. If we take a look at the faction strength, Gondor is at 2,700. Rohan is at... How much? Did I miss them? Yes. Ah, Rohan is at 3,000, which is actually not even that bad, but they are going to continue declining if I do not assist them. So I guess we're going to have to see in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.